All right, folks, this is going to be a, a live Oklahoma weather alert. Uh, just before 6 o'clock, William Cole here in the Forecast Center. And, folks, we're still tracking the severe weather now uh, moving on into the uh, Oklahoma City metro. Severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for Oklahoma County and also a Canadian County as well. Our team of trackers, Mike and Jesse, this is their live video, and uh, they're here in the uh, metro area. We're going to talk with them coming up here in just a second. But what I want to do, I want to go to radar. Let's go and give you a radar update. And uh, this is the very latest because we have a fairly potent a fairly potent severe storm now moving into portions of central Oklahoma. Winds easily near 70 miles per hour, and there could be some ping pong ball size hail. Oklahoma County right there, you see this storm here moving on in, and uh, this is actually forming into kind of a quasi-supercell. In fact, there's even a little bit of a hook I'll show you on it as well, uh, but this is basically a quasi-supercell now moving right through central Oklahoma. So let's take a closer look here. And again, first of all, uh, what's important, again, if you are in your evening commute home, again, I know there's a lot of folks on the road uh, driving. Obviously, this is rush hour right now, so there's some heavy rain falling. There's some definite slowdowns on the uh, roads around the metro as well, so definitely take your time and uh, drive careful on your way home. Again, you see Mike's video there, lots of heavy rain, again, falling here in the metro. Uh, but as you're looking at radar there on the uh, left-hand side of your screen, Let's first of all zoom right on in uh, really to uh, downtown Oklahoma City. So again, we're looking right here at central Oklahoma. And again, you can see locally heavy rain. I'm going to put on the Hail Core tracker. This is also important, again, if you're on your evening drive home. And over around the Bethany area, this is going to be some smaller hail. But we do have a little Hail Core. And again, this is going to be over around the Bethany area. That's probably dime size. That's not necessarily severe hail, but some dimes possible over there in the Bethany area, also up around the village area. Again, outside of that, it's basically locally heavy rain, again, right here in Oklahoma County. So again, for the folks right in the metro that are making their evening commute home, some scattered smaller hail around, uh, but again, locally heavy rain and winds near 60 miles per hour. So let's go and zoom out a little bit here. And I want to move this a little bit further to the west uh, because this westerly flank of this storm, uh, it's been fairly intense. And in fact, the Hail Core tracker now, as we go further to the west into portions of Canadian County, back to the Hail Core tracker here, and see, this is a totally different deal here. So we've got yellows, oranges, pinks going to white. Uh, this is a fairly vigorous Hail Core there. And again, that's going to be just northwest of Union City. That easily, that easily right there could be approaching ping pong ball size hail. In general, that's going to be tracking down towards Union City. So you folks in Minko, Union City, heads up. That's a fairly vigorous hail core. Then also one just right there north of I-40. There's El Reno. There's Yukon. And again, where you're seeing that secondary hail core there with the uh, yellows and oranges showing up, again, that still easily could be quarters to possibly even some half dollar size hail uh, in those areas there as well. So again, definitely as far as the hail threat goes, uh, it's primarily confined there uh, to a Canadian County. Uh, but again, outside of that, locally heavy rain and a vivid lightning possible uh, with all that activity. So what I want to do, I want to go and bring Mike Russ on the uh, live line here with us. And Mike, you and Jesse, I know you're out kind of inspecting the streets and at least looking at what's going on here in really central Oklahoma and Oklahoma County. Go ahead and tell us where you are now and go ahead and give us a live update. Yes, William. We're just south of the Bethany area. Uh, we're on Council, Council, Council Boulevard right now heading southbound. We're trying to get to I-40. Uh, we're going to get in front of that, that Canadian County storm there and we're really going to track it. Uh, but one thing we're noted, we noted here on council, uh, we had a pretty significant rainfall amount uh, where we had some localized ponding on the roadways. People were, were you know, doing things correctly, slowing down and, uh, you know, going through cautiously. So that, that is a good thing. People are not, you know, being crazy here in rush hour. So we're, you know, we're very pleased about that. But we're definitely trying to get back in front of the storm here. Uh, we'll be back on it here in about two minutes or so, William, I think. Mike, I really appreciate that update. Let me just ask you one question, though, as well. I, I know you said, folks, overall we're driving fairly slow, but I know you've kind of been making your way from the northern sides of the metro now kind of back down to the southern sides uh, where the activity is starting to pick back up. But what about any, like, major traffic slowdowns? Are you seeing that? Has it been overall, again, you said people are driving fairly gentle, but have you seen any uh, as far as, like, major traffic backups as far as the evening commute goes? Uh, a little bit here, uh, and actually we're on Northwest 10th Street right now in Council, and just to the right, uh, I don't know if we've had an accident or what, but we've got numerous vehicles with their flashers on, uh, pulled off to the side of the road here. Uh, 
so I don't know, again, like, like I said, I don't know if we had an accident or what's going on, but I know people in that area are slowing down. Uh, but yeah, traffic is still pretty much moving okay. Uh, but, you know, instead of doing the 45 and 40 that council's, uh, you know, speed limit rated, uh, they're doing maybe 35, 30. Uh, so they are keeping it a little bit slower. So that is a good thing, William. And we can see the ponding on the roadways there as well. Mike's video, remember, it's just about 30 seconds delayed. So what he's talking about, it's always about 30 seconds delayed. But we're seeing the ponding on the roadways there as well, the folks driving through the water there. Now, Mike, let me tell you this, something I'm just kind of picking up on here on Mesoscan radar. So you see this bright area of green right here, which is now going to be approaching the Mustang area. Those are going to be some fairly high velocity winds. These could be pushing 70 miles per hour now. So you folks in Mustang, also you folks down near Tuttle, Heads up, because this area of green right here, we're looking at the wind flow within the storm. Those are high velocity winds, northwest to southeast winds, and that right there easily could be near or over 70 miles per hour. And again, keep in mind that's gonna be moving right into the Mustang area. Let's go and take a closer look at this here. And again, keep in mind we're looking at the actual wind flow within the storm. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of rock, what we call rock the radar back here, just move it back a couple frames. And we're just gonna kind of move this forward so we can see exactly where kind of that area of high velocity wind is going through. In fact, part of it's going through Union City right now, uh, the far western sides of that moving through Union City. So there easily could be some 60, 65, maybe 70 mile per hour winds going through Union City. But again, it looks like kind of the bulk of that, it's tracking down towards Tuttle and it's also tracking back over towards the uh, Mustang area as well. Let me kind of move the radar just a little bit here. And again, this is what we're talking about here, uh, is this big bright area of green on the radar. Again, these are wind flows within the storm. And again, basically what this is, these are winds, high velocity winds. And again, in general, those are tracking towards Mustang. And then again, potentially even down towards Tuttle, even possibly as far to the uh, west there as a uh, Minko. Uh, but again, if you live in those areas, heads up, you easily could have some 60, 65, and even 70 plus mile per hour winds with this storm. Now, again, if you're in Oklahoma County, let's go and kind of back out here. I want to talk about Oklahoma County again as well, uh, because again, there's a lot of people on their evening commute on the way home. And as we go back to Oklahoma County, there's still a lot of locally heavy rain around. Uh, but as we go to the hail core tracker, uh, we're not picking up on much in the way of hail. Now, this is good. So again, if you're on your evening commute home, uh, you're in Oklahoma County, you can still see up around the Bethany area, all the way back up towards the village, right there, kind of right over the Northwest Highway area. Uh, again, there's at least an opportunity for some dime size hail, some smaller hail there. Uh, so keep that in mind. But again, the locally heavy rain and the ponding on the roadway, that's going to be the primary threat, uh, again, right there in Oklahoma County. But as we zoom this out, in fact, the severe thunderstorm warning for Oklahoma County has now been canceled. Uh, the only severe thunderstorm warning here in central Oklahoma, it's again the cell back out here towards Union City and again approaching Mustang, Minko, and uh, Tuttle as well. Let's go to the hail core tracker on this portion of the storm. And uh, again, as we do that, again, still the hail core is still much more pronounced uh, out here. Again, this is basically in Canadian County moving into northern Grady County now. And uh, again, we're seeing these uh, kind of aqua colors going to yellow, even going to orange. Again, that's at least the possibility of some ping pong ball size hail there. In general, that's gonna be tracking towards Union City. And then maybe some half dollar size hail up there in the uh, aqua going to yellow. And again, if that does hold together at its current strength, which you see that right there is actually weakening a little bit, uh, but that's gonna be tracking down towards Mustang again here over the next uh, 20 minutes or so. Uh, but right now, out of this specific part, of this storm. Uh, again, the thing that's really got my attention, it's these high velocity winds. And again, it's this area of bright green uh, that we're seeing right there. And again, those high velocity winds, again, 60 to near 70 miles per hour, uh, those are basically center line tracking now towards the Tuttle area, and then also back over towards the Mustang area as well. Uh, those are gonna be south now of I-40, uh, but keep in mind that can cause some power disruptions. Uh, so if you live in those areas, definitely uh, keep that in mind as well. Uh, let's do this. Let's go and kind of back out a little bit. And we're gonna check back in with our team of trackers here in just a minute. Uh, but as we back on out here, I want to take a look at the cell down to the south because uh, we've had one lone severe storm down here around the Duncan area. And this is now moving into a Comanche. This is down here in Stevens County. It's moving through Empire City, south of Oil City. And it's basically right there on Highway 81. Let's go to the Hail Core tracker on this one as well. 
and as we do that, wow. So this one's got a fairly impressive hell course. So again, this one is uh, south of the Oklahoma City Metro. Again, we've been talking about a lot of activity in the Oklahoma City Metro. The video for Mike and Jesse still coming in from the Oklahoma City Metro. This is southwestern Oklahoma now. This is Stevens County. And again, check out this hell course. So we have the pinks going to whites, and that easily could be some golf ball size hell. So that's going to be in general approaching the Comanche area right there along Highway 81, Empire City. Uh, basically moving right into Empire City right now, then eventually down towards Comanche. Uh, but again, that right there is definitely golf ball size hell. You see with the latest sweep, that hell core even getting bigger and even a little more intense. So golf balls possible there in Empire City and in Comanche. You folks want to stay away from the windows. You want to stay away from the windows as uh, that cell comes on in. Again, that's down in southwestern Oklahoma. So let's go and zoom this back out. Let's go back up here into portions of northern and uh, central Oklahoma here. And again, the severe thunderstorm warning for Oklahoma County itself, it has expired. There's still some locally heavy rain in Oklahoma County, again, if you're on your evening commute. Uh, but again, the severe portion of this storm, it's now back over towards Union City in Minko. And let's go back to the uh, Hellcore tracker here. And in fact, this new severe thunderstorm warning that's been issued here, this does include Minko, uh, Tuttle, Bridge Creek, all the way down through Amber. Uh, this is in effect until 6.30 this evening. And again, there's easily 70 mile per hour winds and uh, again, half dollar, possibly larger size hail. We're looking specifically here at the hail cores. Again, we're seeing the oranges showing up there just west of Union City. Uh, that's easily where the half dollar to possibly approaching ping pong ball size hail could be. Uh, this is the area I'm talking about right there. So hail core there. And then again, we have some half dollars those half dollars might try and clip the western sides of Mustang. So we're going to hit two hell cores, but again, outside of the two hell cores, we still have lots of locally heavy rain and a fairly intense lightning there as well. Let's go back to normal mode. Again, now we're just actually looking at the rainfall within the storm. And let me go and back this up one more time here. And uh, as we do that, we'll go ahead and advance this back over to the other radar. And as we switch back over, Again, you can see that so now we're back in normal rainfall rate mode. And again, you can still see, again, even outside of the hell cores, lots of very locally heavy rain, uh, fairly intense lightning here as well. The other thing I want to do, then we're going to check right back in with our team of trackers, Mike and Jesse out there. I want to look at the wind flow within this storm again as well. And uh, as we go back to that, again, this is what's kind of had my attention here over the last few minutes, where you've seen those areas of bright green that easily again could be some 60 65 near 70 mile per hour winds looks like it's going to kind of snake right through and just to the west of the mustang area but in general that's tracking right down towards tuttle let's go and take a closer look at this here and as we zoom on into this again we're seeing kind of the hotter greens uh, that's basically again where we're talking about these higher velocity winds so this is what we're talking about it's right through here and again these easily could be 60 to near 70 mile per hour winds Again, in general, you can see tracking down towards Tuttle and then possibly some high velocity winds there on the western sides of Mustang as well. So let's go back to Mike and Jesse. They're out in the thick of it. They're basically in Oklahoma County right now. Mike, go ahead and tell us where you are and uh, go ahead and give us a live update. Yes, William. We're, we're just getting off of I-40 here on Mustang Road, uh, which is Highway 4 South. Uh, William, we can see a very low digging uh, 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 roll cloud uh, on the front side of this, or gust front on the on the front side of this, that's going to be going through the Mustang area right now. We can see it. Uh, it's very definitive on the front side of the storm. Uh, we're getting a pretty pretty substantial rainfall here on I-40 right now. Uh, we're getting a little bit of ponding on the road, not a whole lot, uh, so nothing to really worry about. People are taking it slower and being careful. Uh, so that is a that is a very good thing at this point, William. I just have a question. Uh, but again, we're going to be dropping down Highway 4 to the south and coming into the Mustang area here very shortly, William. Okay, Mike, really appreciate that uh, live update there uh, from you and Jesse. Really doing a great job. We're going to talk to you guys again uh, coming up here in just a minute as well. Uh, but again, what we're doing, we're really kind of focusing in right now in central Oklahoma. Again, a lot of folks on their evening commute home. And what I want to do, I want to go and zoom on out here just real quickly. And uh, as we do that, again, I want to take a look over here in Oklahoma County. Now, officially for Oklahoma County, there is no longer a severe thunderstorm warning in effect. Okay, but with that being said, again, a lot of folks on their evening commute, a lot of folks on the roads, there's still a lot of locally heavy rain 
in Oklahoma County. So I've zoomed the radar in. We're real tight here now. So this is downtown Oklahoma City. There's Bethany, Northwest Highway. There's the village. Uh, there's the Midwest City Tinker area right back over in here, the Tinker Diagonal. And again, as a, we kind of move this around, we'll kind of let you, again, geographically around Oklahoma County, kind of see where you are and, again, your location. But again, right now, most of the heavy rain uh, basically back up from Bethany, uh, back up towards the village, uh, even back over to a bit of locally heavy rain as well. As we take a look at the Hail Core tracker, uh, this is the only other thing of concern. Of course, if you're driving home right now, of course, you don't want to get your car, uh, you know, beat up with hail. Uh, but I can tell you, in Oklahoma County, at least right now, the hail sizes are quite a bit smaller than earlier. Again, these are easily maybe some dime size hail. Uh, you don't want to get caught in dime size hail, but it's definitely not as damaging as uh, the alternative, you know, larger hail, obviously. Uh, but again, from Bethany back over through the village, where you're kind of seeing that smattering of blue there. Again, that's where at least there's an opportunity for some dime size hail. As we just kind of stick with the hail core tracker, now here's one thing to note. For that storm over there near Union City that's currently severe, the hail core tracker, it's definitely come down in size. So again, where we possibly had some ping pong balls earlier when we're talking about the oranges and the yellows that we had, uh, we're now down to basically yellows and aquas. And basically what that's telling us here is hail sizes with that storm, they are coming down. So they are coming down now with this storm. And again, there's still an opportunity for possibly some half dollar size hail just west of Union City, just west of Highway 81, and then possibly some quarters that are gonna try and move in towards the Mustang area uh, there as well. But again, if you're out there in Southern uh, Canadian County, Northern Grady County, at least a little bit of good news here that the overall hail intensities uh, have come down some, okay? So that part's good. Uh, I wanna go back to velocities. Now, this is the one thing that really has not changed. And in fact, as we go back to the normal radar presentation, you can almost kind of see this little bow echo developing. And again, a bow echo is generally indicative of some high velocity winds. And we have this little bow right here where basically the winds are blowing the rain out in front of the storm. So we get that little bow effect. And as we go back to velocities here, and we're actually looking inside the storm, uh, we can actually see that. Let me go and move the radar up just a little bit here. And uh, as we do that, you know, again, we're seeing kind of the brighter green showing up there. Again, that's where the uh, higher velocity winds would be. So let's, uh, let's go and kind of back out here a little bit. I wanna go back down into Southern Oklahoma, and I wanna take a look at this other severe storm down here as well. Uh, not to forget about you uh, friends and our folks down there around the uh, Stevens County area. This is going to be down around Empire City. And let's go to the Hellcore tracker. And this storm is actually intensified. Uh, so where storms in central Oklahoma are coming down just a notch, uh, this one down here in Stevens County continues to intensify. And in fact, this is a fairly vigorous hail course. So again, we're seeing the reds going to whites, going to grays. Well, that's easily some golf ball size hail, basically right over Empire City right now in general that's gonna try and clip Comanche. Again, that's down in southwestern Oklahoma, down in the Stevens County area. Uh, but again, for you folks down there, heads up, uh, you definitely wanna to go to an interior room in your house. You wanna stay away from windows, uh, because again, once we're talking about golf ball size hail, uh, keep in mind that can easily blow out some windows. So you wanna stay away from the windows, again, down there in uh, southwestern Oklahoma. So, okay, back up here in central Oklahoma, let's go and give you an overview, again, of what's going on. And I want to zoom right on into portions of Oklahoma County here, first of all. And then we're going to talk to our team of trackers coming up again here in just a second. And again, we don't want to sound like a broken record, but again, I know there's a lot of folks driving home and they may be watching us on the mobile app as opposed to Roku TV. So again, if you're watching us on the mobile app, uh, just to kind of give you a quick update of at least where the heavy rain is right now. Now in Oklahoma County, overall the hell sizes, they've definitely come down, but there is some localized ponding and maybe even some localized pockets of, uh, of localized street flooding uh, around Oklahoma County as well. Uh, but right now the heavy rain basically from Bethany back up through the village and basically right over Northwest Highway as well. It's gonna be north of downtown. Uh, downtown currently seeing some moderate rain. In fact, we can actually go and take a look at our downtown Oklahoma City cam here in just a second. Uh, but again, most of the uh, locally heavy rain now north of downtown. Now the southern sides of town and more, and even down here in Norman, at least right now, there's really nothing going on. It's still dry. 
uh, down here in Norman. But again, this activity will continue to approach the southern sides of the metro uh, here over the next hour or so. And then again, we do continue still with the severe thunderstorm warning as we move the radar just a little bit further to the west. And again, currently severe thunderstorm warning basically from Union City all the way down through Tuttle and back up to Mustang. And again, the main reason for that, it's these high velocity winds currently moving through the Tuttle area. Again, we're seeing the bright green showing up. Those are easily wind 60 to maybe near 70 miles per hour. Again, basically moving through Tuttle Highway 37. And in general, those are going to be tracking towards Bridge Creek. And again, if the storm holds its intensity, it could even be tracking down towards Blanchard. 60 to near 70 mile per hour winds possible with that activity right there. And again, the overall hail sizes continue to come down at least a notch with this activity. But again, still an opportunity for maybe some half dollar size hail, especially right there west of the Union City area. So our team of trackers, they are out there as well. Uh, Mike and Jesse, I think they're still here in central Oklahoma and Oklahoma County. Uh, you're looking at their video there on the right hand side of the screen. But hey guys, go ahead and give us a quick update, Mike. Tell us where you are right now and uh, tell us what you guys are seeing out there. Yes, William. We're actually cutting down Highway 4 to the south, which is Mustang Road here on the east side of Yukon. We're actually starting to get a little bit of sunlight trying to peek out on the back side of the storm right now. And due to rush hour, we're, you know, getting a little bit stuck in traffic. And, and traffic is doing phenomenal out here. They have slowed it down. They are being extremely cautious. Uh, we're not seeing any wrecks. We're not seeing any, we didn't see any wrecks on I-40. Uh, so people are, you know, they were pretty aware of this, that this was going to be coming. Uh, they're taking their time. We're very happy about that. Uh, but we're not seeing seeing any damage here in the Yukon area uh, from the winds that, that came through this area earlier. Uh, and so that's a good sign. Uh, but as we get as we go down to Mustang, I know the uh, traffic will clear out and we'll be able to get back kind of in front of this and be able to give a better accurate uh, reading as to what's going on on the front side as it's coming into your areas. Uh, and so we're just north of Mustang, kind of kind of the in-between spot between Mustang and Yukon right now, uh, William. And we're going to be coming into the Mustang area. Another thing I'd like to note is the lightning. This thing, this storm has just a, a phenomenal amount of lightning with it. Uh, all the way from the north side of the metro where we first picked it up all the way through uh a lot of lightning uh it's a very it's a it's a big noise maker william that is for sure mike really great report really appreciate that you and jesse doing a great job out there uh for sure so let's do this let's go and switch back around here and i want to actually we're, we're, we're going to take this other radar here let's go and zoom this out and what I want to do, I kind of want to give an overall state perspective. And also for our friends up in northern Oklahoma, we're going to switch away from Mike's video uh, for just one second here. And what I want to do, I want to go and take an overall perspective. Uh, because, again, depending on where in Oklahoma you are and depending on where you're watching us from, uh, you might be seeing some active weather right now. But, again, for really most of the state, you're not really seeing much at all right now. So we continue with a fairly large severe thunderstorm watch. This is in effect until 9 p.m. this evening. Again, we've been tracking the severe weather in central Oklahoma. Still one severe thunderstorm warning in effect here in central Oklahoma. But now we do have some other activity now for our friends up in northern Oklahoma. K County, Osage County, heads up. This is some activity non-severe right now, but this is firming up there in southern Kansas. This is going to kind of track into portions of northeastern Oklahoma. So we'll take a closer look at that here in a second. And then also for our friends in Stevens County, we'll take another look down there in a minute as well. But we do have a severe storm down here in Stevens County. And in fact, right now in really all of Oklahoma, the storm down in Stevens County, it is really the most severe with at least some golf ball size hail. So as you kind of take the overview, kind of see the overall perspective, you found your geographical location there. What I want to do, I want to go back to uh, southwestern Oklahoma, back down there to that Stevens County storm and take another look at that. Uh, because like I said, that right now at least uh, currently is a big time hail producer. Uh, so let me go and zoom back in on that. And uh, as we do that, again, for our friends down here in southwestern Oklahoma, uh, especially around the Quorum area, back over through Comanche, even Empire City, uh, again, this is a big hail storm. And uh, what I mean by that is we go back to the hail core tracker. And uh, again, we're looking at, uh, you know, just the, the different colors, obviously, here. But as you start getting to the pinks, the reds, the whites, and the grays, that's a fairly large golf ball-sized hail core right there. And so that's basically right there over Empire City. It's sagging a little more to the south now. That's going to move through Quorum. You folks in Quorum, heads up. You need to be in an interior room of your house. 
uh, because keep in mind, golf ball size hail can blow out windows. And also Comanche, you folks in Comanche, you will get some hail, but it looks like the main hail core, it's gonna go through the small community down there of Corum. So you folks down there in Corum, uh, this is a heads up. Again, you wanna get an interior room of your house uh, right there along Highway 53. Uh, let's go back to a normal mode here. And as we do that, again, even outside of that hail core we were just talking about, you can see there's also a lot of, again, just locally heavy rain. And there's some fairly vigorous lightning that we're picking up here as well. But again, Comanche, you folks currently seeing rain, Empire City currently seeing rain. And again, that hail core there basically tracking down towards Corum. Right now in Oklahoma, again, that is the biggest hail core, again, with uh, golf balls possible there. So let's go back up into uh, central Oklahoma. And then we'll take a look up in uh, northern and northeastern Oklahoma for our friends up there. We're just going to kind of keep moving the radar around. And again, here at Oklahoma Weather Tracker TV, we cover all of Oklahoma from the Panhandle to southeastern Oklahoma. So again, we kind of have to move the radar around and we cover a lot of different geographical areas. If we're not talking about your location right now, uh, again, you know, we will here in just a few minutes. So just kind of bear with us. But again, you know, obviously we're covering the entire state and we're the only people that do that. We're not covering just a small, uh, you know, television market. Um, so let's go and zoom in uh, to central Oklahoma here. And again, I want to zoom back into portions of Oklahoma County. And uh, the reason why we're still talking about Oklahoma County, there's not currently a severe storm in Oklahoma County, but there's still a lot of locally heavy rain. And again, obviously it's the evening commute. The evening commute starting to wrap up for some folks, but obviously it's a busy time of the day. Uh, there's a lot of folks out and about. Uh, so as we take a look at this closely here, in fact, let's go and take the radar full screen again. And uh, as we do that, again, basically just looking at Oklahoma County here, uh, you can see this is, continues to sag to the south. So still locally heavy rain in the village in Bethany, uh, but this locally heavy rain, it's fact it's even moving into downtown Oklahoma City. Let's go and take a look at our downtown Oklahoma City cam live here as well. Uh, let me go and punch that up and we'll get back to Mike's live video. I know folks always like to see the live video, uh, but so this is downtown Oklahoma City and that's a live shot there. So it's raining, at least right now it's moderate rain. It's nothing super heavy, uh, but again, that core of heavier rain, well, it is gonna be moving into downtown Oklahoma City here fairly quickly. But again, that's what downtown Oklahoma City looks like uh, right now, again, with moderate rain in progress. But again, you can see that band of heavier rain uh, will be moving in fairly quickly. Uh, it's also uh, rainfall rates and rainfall intensities now picking up there along I-240, Valley Brook, uh, even back over towards the Tinker Diagonal. Uh, rain starting to pick up there a little bit as well. Let's go to the uh, hail core tracker here. And as we do that, uh, this is one piece of good news. So again, if you are out and about, uh, obviously, you know, there's lots of heavy rain. You're concerned about that. You're concerned about your driving and other folks on the road. Uh, but at least right now, as far as your car goes being out there, uh, for Oklahoma County at least, we're really not picking up on much of any in the way of, uh, of hail. And that's our hail core tracker right there. Uh, so that's a little bit of good news. Let's move this a little bit further to the west here. And uh, as we do that, uh, the portion of the storm that is still severe uh, down here in the Minko, Tuttle, and even back up through the Mustang area. Uh, here's the hail core tracker. I'll tell you, the hail core even on this continues to really weaken. In fact, the hail core we had up around the Union City area, uh, that's almost completely gone away. Uh, the current hail core, it's right there near and just west of the Mustang area, uh, that's gonna be right there basically just south of Highway 152. But again, we're seeing the aqua and kind of a little bit of smattering of the yellow showing up. Uh, again, overall, we're talking about half dollar size hail. So again, you know, that's still damaging. We, we understand that. Uh, but again, compared to the ping pong ball size hail and maybe even the near tennis ball size hail we had earlier, uh, these hail cores, they do continue to come down. So a little bit of good news, but again, still at least some half dollars possible there. I want to check the wind flow uh, on this storm because this storm is the one that's been producing some fairly high velocity winds. So let's go to uh, velocities here and then we'll check back in with our uh, team of trackers here as well. But as we go back to velocities, there's still easily uh, some 60 to 65 mile per hour winds. It looks like the wind velocities have come down some, uh, but we still got some high velocity winds. And what I'm talking about is this area of green. Okay, so it's not quite as bright green as it was earlier, which I know that sounds pretty basic, but that's really what you look for on the radar. It's not quite as bright green, so the wind velocities have come down some, uh, but we did have easily some 60 to near 70 mile per hour winds that came through Tuttle, and again, those 60 plus mile per hour winds, well, they're now moving through the Bridge Creek area. So you folks in Bridge Creek, heads up, you're gonna have some fairly high velocity winds there from the north and from the northwest that are gonna be coming through here fairly quickly. And again, those easily could be 60 plus uh, miles per hour. Let's go back to our reflectivity here. And uh, what I wanna do, I know we've still got our team of trackers on the phone here. I don't wanna le leave them uh, holding for too long. So let's go get Mike and Jesse back on the live line. 
Uh, guys, go and tell us where you are now and uh, give us a live update. Yes, William, we're coming into the Mustang area on um, Highway 4 here, uh, which is also Mustang Road. Uh, we're, we're getting a, a tremendous amount of rainfall right now. Uh, Mustang Road here, the right side of the road has a lot of ponding on the roadway here on the right side of the road, uh, kind of up against the curb. We're seeing a lot of vehicles uh, slashing through that. Everyone is taking their time. They're, they've slowed down, uh, so that is a, a very good thing. Uh, but these low-lying areas are definitely going to be inundated with rain, and we're going to get a lot of uh, a lot of localized street flooding, uh, which also, you know, it, it's the rush hour. It's the Oklahoma City rush hour. Uh, so that also puts another dangerous aspect of hydroplaning on these highways and stuff like that. Uh, but this rainfall, it, it, is a, it is a very substantial amount of rainfall in a, in a short amount of time here, William. Uh, it, it's very impressive here, actually. Uh, but again, the other thing we're noting is the lightning. But this storm does look like it's uh, really trying to come down in intensity, William, uh, from our vantage point. Uh, we're, we're having a hard time even keeping the sun out of our out of our side here uh, coming in from the west. Uh, so this is, it, it seems like the storm is, is trying to shrink and kind of die out a little bit. So that is a good thing for, like, the Newcastle, Moore. Uh, I know right now it's going through Mustang with heavy rain. We're not seeing any wind damage so far or anything like that. So I think, I think part You guys seen any, uh, you know, wind damage as you've kind of gone through those high velocity wind areas or locations that did see some of those high velocity winds? At this time, we haven't seen any indications of a, any kind of a strong winds or anything yet, William. Uh, we're still looking. In fact, we're now at the 152 junction here in Mustang. Uh, and we're seeing on Highway 4 here, Mustang Road, right here at the 152 junction, we've got water uh, up to the top of the curbs here. So, uh, again, localized street flooding is going to be a a huge threat here. Uh, we don't want to see anybody, uh, you know, hydroplaning or anything like that. But again, we're not seeing any wind damage here in Mustang. Uh, so that it looks like Mustang may have dodged a bullet on, on some of the high velocity winds there, William. Well, I really appreciate that update, Mike. We're going to get right back to you guys here in one second. One thing I want to point out just real quickly here, uh, while Mike and Jesse, they're still kind of assessing everything there. So this storm, it's turning just a little bit more to the right now, okay? So this is still severe. So the portion up here in Oklahoma County, it's no longer severe, right? So we got locally heavy rain going on up there, frequent lightning, uh, but even the hail for the most part has gone away on the northern flank of this storm up there in Oklahoma County. Now this is turning a little bit more to the right. We're starting to get just a little bit of an outflow boundary. You see that right there? Those are the high velocity winds, still easily 60 miles per hour. That's taking more of a right hand turn towards Newcastle and potentially even back over here towards the Norman area. So, so far down here, we're in Norman. That's where we're located. And so far we haven't even really had any rain down here at all. But again, this is turning a little bit more to the right. Let me go and put this into motion here. And uh, this is movie mode here over about the last 90 minutes or so. And again, you can see there's just a little bit more of a turn to the right. And again, as that happens, that's obviously going to bring maybe the heavy rain a little bit closer to the Newcastle area and even to the Norman area. Uh, but also those higher velocity winds uh, could also be possible now further, just a little bit further to the east or uh, to the right of that storm as well. So we'll continue to kind of track that storyline uh, as well here over the next few minutes. But regardless, uh, more norm in the southern sides of the metro, we will see rain here as we go over about the next 45 minutes uh, to an hour. What I want to do, I want to move the radar just a little bit further up here to the north. We really haven't talked about these storms yet. Uh, these are not severe. These are actually still in Kansas, uh, but they are tracking towards northern Oklahoma. Again, they're not severe right now, uh, but again, for our friends up here in Kay County, for northern Osage County, even back over through Washington County, like the Bartlesville area, and uh, back over through Nevada, again, you know, heads up. So these storms are developing. These could go severe, so we'll be tracking those, but if not, still locally heavy rain and fairly intense lightning, small hail and winds to 50 miles per hour could be possible. Again, northern Kay County, Osage, and Washington County up there in northern Oklahoma. So again, heads up on those storms uh, if you live up in that part of the state. 
So from there, let's go back down here into uh, southwestern Oklahoma. I want to take another look at this cell. Uh, this has been a big time hell producer down here. Now the hell sizes have started to come down just a little bit. In fact, uh, the small community of Corm there uh, basically took a direct hit with most likely some golf ball size hail. Uh, but again, as we take a look at the hail core tracker there where we had a lot of bright white and gray, well, we're now kind of down to the pinks and the red. So it's coming down some, but there easily could still be some ping pong ball size hail uh, basically moving through and just south of the uh, Corum area. And this is where I'm talking about right here. It's this area right here. And so there's a small community of Corum. Again, this is Stevens County. There's Duncan and uh, there's Comanche just to kind of orient you. And again, there's the hell core there again, just south of Corum. But again, most likely over the last 10 minutes or so while we've been talking, our friends down there in Corum have most likely been seeing some golf ball size hail uh, move through their area. But again, hail sizes, even with that core, again, coming down uh, now some as well. Uh, let's go and give you another update as to what's going on here in central Oklahoma. And uh, again, just to reiterate, Oklahoma County, no longer a severe thunderstorm warning. In effect, that's been expired now for a little while. Uh, there is still some locally heavy rain, fairly intense lightning though in Oklahoma County and even right in uh, downtown Oklahoma City as well. Uh, but the severe portion of this storm is now uh, basically from the Mustang area back over through Bridge Creek and even Tuttle. And uh, really the most intense portion of the storm is now east of Tuttle. And as we go to the uh, Hill Core tracker, uh, this is, uh, at least what's left of the hail core. Now keep in mind earlier, as these storms were northwest of the Oklahoma City Metro, we had some near tennis ball size hail. Uh, the hail sizes came down, but we had a couple more indications that we maybe had some ping pong ball size hail uh, as this uh, core was just to the west of Union City. Uh, this is all that's left of it now though, but this is easily still some half dollar size hail. And again, in general, that's gonna be tracking towards Bridge Creek and possibly, possibly as far east as the Newcastle area. Uh, but again, right there, you're seeing some half dollars in the aqua and a little bit of smattering of yellow uh, showing up there as well. And as we go to the wind flow within the storm again, this is the other thing that I've really been watching with this storm because again, we've been tracking at least that opportunity for high velocity winds and we're still seeing them in this storm. And we easily could have some 55, 60, 65 mile per hour winds basically moving through Bridge Creek. And the way it looks right now, uh, some of those winds there may be just far enough east to even get in there to the uh, Newcastle area. So uh, again, that's what the severe thunderstorm warning currently is for. And again, it's going to be for those winds moving through the Bridge Creek area right now. And again, uh, really according to radar here, it looks like they're also going to be moving through the uh, Newcastle uh, area fairly quickly uh, as well. So let's go back to our reflectivity. Let's go and get another update from our team of trackers. They're basically right there in the mix. In fact, I think they're in probably getting into the most intense part of the storm right now. And it looks like their video may have frozen for just a second. Let's see if we still have them on the live line. Uh, Mike Russ, are you still on the line with us? Yes, I am, William. Okay, Mike, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and refresh your video from here. It looks like it froze from just a second, but go and give us an update. Tell us where you are. You guys have been out there in the mix as we've gone through the evening. Go ahead and give us a live update. Yes, William, we're actually um, 152. We're heading back eastbound right now, uh, staying on the on this storm here uh, that just came through the Mustang area. Again, uh, here in just a second, you'll see in our shot, we've got a beautiful, huge rainbow here, uh, you know, shining brightly just to the east of a uh, of Mustang here. It's it's extremely beautiful. But we're not seeing any wind damage. Uh, again, the biggest thing we're seeing is, is the localized street flooding. Uh, and that is, it's very significant out here. Uh, we're seeing a lot of, a lot of ponding on the roadway. Again, people are still taking things very cautiously. They're not, uh, nobody's driving recklessly. Uh, everyone's kind of slowed down for this uh, on their commute home here. Uh, especially 152, this tends to be a, a pretty busy highway coming into Mustang, and we're not seeing near the traffic. Uh, they're again, they're taking their time, uh, but these roads are are very. Uh, uh, they've got a lot of standing water and rushing water as they go downhill. Uh, but again, no wind damage that we're seeing. Uh, we haven't seen any hail. Uh, around on the grass or anything. That is a nice looking uh, rainbow, Mike. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I just want to make sure the viewers saw that. So it's a little hard to see, but there it is right there. And that is a very nice looking rainbow uh, showing up there in your shot. Yes, I mean, it, the, the camera is not doing it justice, William. I will be, I will be completely honest with that. Uh, 
but this storm is definitely uh it, it definitely appears to be weakening we're not seeing near the lightning that we were even on it uh it just it, it definitely looks like it's trying to fall apart william on us uh mustang looks like it really dodged a bullet with with some of the winds and stuff like that but again these things are very heavy rainmakers that is for sure uh we're still seeing a lot of a uh, look like pounding on the roadways william Hey, Mike, I want to do this real quick. I want to take a look at just a couple of our live cams. I want to take a look at downtown Oklahoma City. We're going to break away from your shot for just one second uh, because, again, for the folks uh, live close to downtown, at least, I mean, the rain basically moved in and it moved out. There's downtown Oklahoma City. We had moderately heavy rain uh, maybe 10 minutes ago, but you're starting to see the sun come out now on the backside of that storm. I also want to take a look at our North Norman cam here as well. And uh, what I need to do, let me go and swing this around just real quick. We're looking right there off to the northeast, but what I need to do, let's go and pan this around. So here in Norman, uh, this is what's coming our direction. So it's going to be raining here in Norman fairly quickly. And uh, there's a shot of uh, basically what's coming our way. So again, it will be raining in Norman fairly quickly as I just kind of continue to pan this camera back on around here. And again, there it is. So there's the action again. That will be approaching uh, again fairly quickly. So again, on the southern sides of the metro, we haven't seen rain yet. Uh, but again, it is, uh, it's definitely on the way. And again, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll continue to track it in even here on the southern sides of the metro. Uh, let's go back to a radar. Let's go back to radar here. And we've still got Mike's stream on the right-hand side of your screen. We'll continue to leave that. We're going to check back in with him again coming up here in just a minute. Uh, but again, just a quick radar update here in central Oklahoma. Let's go and back this out. And so what the Weather Service has done, they've kind of they've jimmied they've kind of jimmied their warning here a little bit. So like I mentioned a second ago, we'll go back to uh, velocities here in a second and look at this. But like I said, I thought the, uh, you know, the higher velocity, maybe 60 mile per hour winds, they might try and get as far east as Newcastle. And so the weather service, they've jimmied their warning. They kind of moved it. You see this kind of little kind of bow to their warning. So they've now included Newcastle, the warning. But you folks in Newcastle, most likely you will see some 60 mile per hour winds here fairly quickly. And again, in general, this activity, you see it right here, we'll be tracking towards the Norman area, uh, basically moving into more here fairly quickly as well. So the southern sides of, of the metro, we will see rain as well. So we're located down here in Norman. We'll finally get a little bit of rain as well. Uh, but there is, just like Mike said, there's definitely a weakening trend uh, with this activity. Let's go back to velocities. And as we do that, this is what we're looking for right now. We're looking for the high velocity winds and they're still there. And in fact, it looks like the, uh, the, the wind velocities have maybe come up just a little bit now. And uh, so this area of green, these are the higher velocity winds basically coming from the north and from the northwest. Uh, but there could easily be some 60 to 65 to maybe even near 70 mile per hour winds again. And in general, that's tracking towards Newcastle. Uh, that's also going to be tracking down towards the Blanchard area if it does hold its intensity. And it could even track as far east as the western sides of Norman as well. But again, you see it right there. Those are 60, 65, the brightest green. There's going to be some 70 mile per hour winds right there. So we're tracking that again with the high velocity winds. I want to take another look at the hail core tracker because this has been the other thing we've been watching is the hail sizes have dramatically come down. Uh, this was the same basically complex of storms or cluster of storms uh, that when it was northwest of the Oklahoma City metro could have been producing some tennis ball size hail and maybe oh 30 35 minutes ago when it was over here near Union City it was still producing some ping pong ball size hail but overall with the latest hail core tracker here uh, again you can see the overall intensities have really come down this is maybe quarter to half dollar size hail. So overall hail intensities have really come down, but that is gonna to track towards, uh, towards the Newcastle area. So you folks right there along Highway 44, the Newcastle Casino and Newcastle, again, heads up that again, you could easily get some quarter to near half dollar size hail. So Mike, I, I hear you on the live line and uh, go ahead and uh, give us an update. I think Mike's got something to pass along here to us. Mike, go ahead. Yes, well, we're on the back side of the storm and we are seeing one beautiful rainbow here. In fact, I'm, I'm turning the uh, camera kind of back and forth, panning this rainbow. Uh, this is one of the brightest I've seen in a long time, William. Uh, but again, uh, we're kind of on the east east end of 152 as it as it gets ready to meet with uh, Highway uh, uh, 240 uh, or 44, and it is it doesn't seem like this area got got even the amount of rain that like Mustang did, William. Uh, but again, we're still receiving rain out here. Uh, it, still, it still looks like it's uh, going pretty good. 
here on the back side. So we're we're really we're getting back in front of it here, and we'll be able to give a better accurate reading as to uh, kind of why the NWS reissued that tor or that uh, severe thunderstorm warning. Sorry, William. I'm getting mixed up on my words here. It looks like, uh, Mike, it, it looks like it's still for those high velocity winds, and it looks like they've actually come up a little bit. I mean, you, you're right. There's definitely been a weakening trend as we look at the hail core tracker. Uh, it's definitely come down, but these high velocity winds, uh, that's what this warning is for. And these high velocity winds, they're coming right through the Mustang area. I went ahead and zoomed it on in. And again, Mike, that's an amazing shot of that rainbow uh, that you have there as well. So you're seeing Mike's rainbow there around the Mustang area right there on the right hand side of your screen uh, but this is why the the uh, warnings kind of been extended here and also kind of jimmy do you see how they've kind of jimmied it and included uh, Mustang there, or uh, uh, Newcastle there rather, but again it's because of these high velocity winds, this area of green that you're seeing right there, and again there still easily could be some 60, 65 mile per hour winds, maybe a wind gust near 70, but again in general that's moving directly through the Newcastle area right now, and might get as far east as the western sides in Norman uh, as well, so we'll be tracking that, but the overall motion with those high velocity winds is to the southeast. Let's go and put this into motion here. And again, we're basically going to run you through about the last oh, uh, hour and a half or so. And again, as that kind of moves on through, uh, you can see the overall motion there to the southeast. But again, right now, at least in Oklahoma, the highest velocity winds, they're right there in the Newcastle area, basically right there at Highway 62. Uh, which is kind of like the main thoroughfare through Newcastle and then um, I, basically the, uh, the turnpike, I-44, right there at that junction. Uh, that's where the highest velocity winds are and these are easily 60, 65, uh, maybe even 70 mile per hour winds. Uh, again, still locally heavy rain moving in, basically moving in on the uh, southwestern sides of the Oklahoma City Metro, I-40. It's going to be moving into more fairly quickly. Western Moore already seeing some rain. And then down here in Norman, it's still dry, but we will see rain in Norman, uh, it looks like here, over about the next 30 minutes or so. Um, I want to zoom this out, and I want to go and take an overall perspective again here across the state. Uh, I want to take a look at this other severe storm that we still have down here in southwestern Oklahoma. Uh, it looks like this one continues to weaken. And in fact, the main core uh, is now actually, the, the storm that's actually uh, severe warned um, is actually, it looks like, trying to fall below severe limits. So as we take a look at this here, at this uh, yellow box, that's the actual warning. Uh, the hail core inside that warning uh, went from basically golf balls uh, that moved through the small town of Corum maybe 30 minutes ago. It's basically uh, vaporized and gone away, but we have a new hail core outside of the warning box uh, basically developing right there along the uh, Red River. So uh, it's not necessarily over any hometown or any community right now. Uh, but again, if you live down there in that part of the state, that's basically Highway 70 that goes from Eureka back over towards the Ranlet area. But right there at Highway 70, basically at the Red River, uh, there is going to be an opportunity for some half dollar size hail. So we'll see what the Weather Service does with that warning. They might go and scoot that a little bit further down to the south uh, because it does look like there is some severe hail again just southwest of Warica. But again, the other storm that was severe warned, uh, that is now rapidly weakening as it does approach the uh, Addington area uh, down there in southwestern Oklahoma. So let's uh, quickly go up to northern Oklahoma as well. And again, basically right up to the Oklahoma-Kansas border. And uh, again, keep in mind, folks, we do cover all of Oklahoma. So I know we kind of move the radar around a lot, but we try and cover all the geography of Oklahoma. So if we're not talking about your hometown right now, uh, chances are we'll be talking about it here in just a few minutes. Uh, but again, up here on the Oklahoma-Kansas border, these storms are not severe. They are quite heavy, though. North of Newkirk, uh, there's a developing hail core there. That storm might try and go severe fairly quickly. And then also north of Bartlesville there in Washington County, basically right on the Oklahoma-Kansas border, right there around the Canny area. Uh, that storm is also fairly heavy, just below severe limits. And then also north of Renfro, again, these storms basically still up in Kansas, but they are sagging to the south. And in general, we'll be moving into northern Oklahoma, and there is an opportunity that maybe one or two of those storms could be severe as we go through the evening. So we'll continue to track those uh, carefully as well. But again, back here into the Oklahoma City Metro, uh, for most of Oklahoma County, uh, the rain is basically winding on down. In fact, I want to go to the uh, downtown Oklahoma City cam here again, because we've gone from basically uh, pouring down rain and a heavy rain in downtown Oklahoma City to now take a look at that. We've got uh, clear skies uh, from our downtown Oklahoma City cam, but there was quite a bit of rain and uh, there was at least a little bit of hail there on the far western sides of Oklahoma County, but this is a live shot. And uh, if you've been watching our coverage, you can still see that the ground's fairly wet, 
Uh, but we've now got almost mostly clear skies heading into the early evening uh, there from our uh, downtown Oklahoma City camp. So again, weather changing uh, again really on 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 quickly uh, is the best way to put it. Just changing quickly as those storms kind of moved in and and moved on out. So Oklahoma County now starting to dry out. But again, down here on the southern sides of the metro, let's go and take another look at this here. Because uh, again, more Norman, again, our studios here were actually located in downtown Norman. Uh, but again, you can see in the Norman area. In fact, let's go and put this into motion. And as we roll this into motion, you can basically see this activity now turning a little more to the southeast. And in fact, some of these higher velocity winds, they might try and make it towards Norman. I think the Weather Service, I think they're going to have to jimmy this warning again. And I think they're going to have to take it just a little bit further to the east. Uh, because this activity, it was kind of tracking to the south, but it's turning more to the right. And this core of green you're seeing right there, so those are high velocity winds. And when I say high velocity winds today, I'm talking about 60, 65. There might be a few wind gusts near 70, uh, but they are starting to turn a little bit more to the right. And I think in general, that's going to try and track towards Norman, maybe the southern sides of Norman as well. Uh, but again, locally heavy rain and again, winds 60 miles per hour, maybe plus. Uh, could be possible the way it looks here in the Norman area uh, fairly quickly. Let's go back to the Hellcore tracker as well. And again, we've still got a fairly small hail core hanging on here. Again, uh, you know, as we've gone through the day, we had some hail cores earlier that, uh, you know, were as big as tennis ball uh, northwest of the Oklahoma City metro. Then uh, over by Union City, we had some ping pong ball size hail. Uh, but now as we take a look at this here in real time, moving into the Newcastle area, again, we're seeing the, <clears throat> excuse me, we're seeing the blue going to green right there. Again, overall, that's probably about the size of uh, maybe half dollars, maybe quarters. So it's definitely coming down now uh, in intensity as far as the hail core goes. But the overall high velocity winds, the damaging wind threat, and the locally heavy rain uh, is still there with that storm. So let's uh, go back to a normal mode here. It looks like Mike is still there in the mix. It looks like, guys, it looks like you're even starting to see some blue sky as well. Again, as these storms moved in, they were, you know, they put down a lot of water, they put down a lot of rain, dropped a little bit of hail, and had some damaging winds. But behind them, I mean, the skies cleared fairly quickly. But Mike, go and tell us where you guys are now and uh, give us a live update from out there in the field. Yes, William, we're at I-240 and South May right now. Uh, and that is correct, William, right behind us, uh, right now where we sit, we're underneath the cloud deck, the anvil of this storm, as we call it. Uh, but just a few miles back to our west, it is completely blue skies. There is, there's nothing back there. So this is kind of the main story here in central Oklahoma right now. Uh, we are tracking it. The rainfall has a, we're a little bit behind it right now, so the rainfall amounts aren't the greatest uh, that we're seeing, but it is it is still raining. Uh, we've still got this beautiful uh, rainbow here that, that just continues on, uh, and we're seeing that traffic is moving, you know, very fluid like here on I-240, uh, but we are seeing vehicles pulled over every now and then that might have had, you know, maybe a fender bender or hydroplaning or something like that. Uh, we're not seeing substantial damage to the vehicle, but that is also kind of uh, slowing traffic down as well. So we're definitely uh, watching this right now uh, on the backside here. Again, we're not seeing any wind damage at all. Uh, we're close enough that we should be able to see hail if it's still there. Uh, if, if there was, you know, sizable hail, we're not seeing anything like that. We're not seeing any indications uh, here on at least on 240 and Mustang and the Mustang areas at 152. Uh, we're not seeing anything that's really pointing out at us that this was a, a, a devastating storm, kind of like, you know, what we've been kind of worried about here lately. Uh, but this is a... It definitely looks like it's coming down in intensity to me, William. Okay, well, uh, we really just from our vantage point. Yeah, no, Mike, doing a great job out there in the field. Really appreciate that uh, live update. And we're going to talk to Mike again here in just a second. Now, I can tell you it is currently raining in North Norman. Let's go and take a look at our North Norman cam here, real quick. And we've kind of been waiting for some rain down here on the southern sides of the metro as well. And again, like I said, it's just now started raining as we switch over here. There's our North Norman cam. That's basically at Flood Street and I-35. Uh, that's the uh, York plant there kind of in the distance. Also, the Cleveland County Jail would be right there to the right. And again, you can see that's a Flood Street there, a little bit of rain uh, starting to fall down here in Norman as well. There will be more rain, a little bit of heavy rain here in Norman. 
And uh, the way it looks, uh, there may be some winds over 50 miles per hour uh, here in the Norman area as well. Let's go back to the uh, double box here. And again, we'll continue to keep Mike shot there. And just like Mike was saying, I mean, they've had this rainbow uh, for probably like the last 20 minutes or so. But look at that rainbow there on, the, on his shot. Let's, let's see if we can't take his shot full screen here. And uh, that's a fairly impressive uh, rainbow shot. So as we take a look at his shot there full screen, uh, there's his rainbow. And uh, so look at that. And it's been fairly impressive. And it's been kind of long lasting. We've been looking at that now for about the last 30 minutes or so. So these storms move in. They dump a lot of rain, a little bit of hail, a little bit of wind. Uh, but when they're done, uh, the skies basically clear right on up, just like we showed you from our downtown Oklahoma City cam. Uh, it basically turns into a mostly clear evening. Now, there is still an opportunity uh, for more rain and storms as we go through the overnight. This is kind of round one. So we're definitely not over and done with. Uh, again, as we go through the evening, we'll talk more about that coming up here at 7 p.m. with the uh, Oklahoma Weather Live, which is our forecast show. Again, we'll talk more about that here uh, in just a few minutes. So with that being said, folks, uh, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to actually take a quick break here. We continue to track the severe weather in central Oklahoma. Again, Oklahoma Weather Live, our forecast show. I know the rest of you around the state that you're not currently seeing active weather. Uh, you're wondering what your evening, what your overnight holds. We're going to talk about that. And then also my updated 12-day forecast. That's coming up here in just about 10 minutes or so. So we'll take a quick break. I'm going to get a quick drink of water as well. We've been live here for the last couple hours. And then we'll uh, have that. And then also uh, we'll have more live severe weather coverage throughout the evening as well. And then also don't forget the Stormfront Freaks Raw podcast. That's also tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, and it's a special live edition tonight as well. So that's coming up later on this evening. So a lot going on. Uh, but keep it here with Oklahoma Weather Tracker TV. We'll keep you up to date with the latest live weather information for Oklahoma.